Friends, family, teammates of a North Texas boy are remembering him tonight. Ricky Tave was basically asking for donations with other members of his track team this weekend when police say, out of nowhere, a driver hit and killed him. Aaron Jones live for us right outside DeSoto High School where teammates shared stories tonight and a whole lot of memories. Aaron? Doug, tonight Ricky's teammates spoke about his love of music and shared some of his favorite songs. As you can imagine, this has been really hard for them, but they're trying to stay positive. Tonight they comforted each other and listened to Ricky's mom as she shared some of her favorite stories about her son. He was 12 years old and, and look at what he's done. At a vigil for her son, Ricky Taves' mother says in the short 12 years he had on earth, he accomplished so much. He was a straight-A student and captain of the McCohen Middle School football team. Always polite, a little gentleman. Looking at the things that my son has achieved just within those 12 years makes me so proud of him. And that's what makes me at peace right now. He was my inspiration for the stuff that kept me going. Ricky's younger brother describes him as the perfect role model. He left a hole in my heart, but I know that he's going to feel it over the time because I know that God is guiding him to me. I know that God is pushing him deeper into my heart. Dallas police say Ricky was collecting donations for his track team Saturday when he ran across West Ledbetter near Vista Wood Boulevard and was struck by 26-year-old Justasia King. Police say King initially stopped but then attempted to leave. She was charged with failure to stop and render aid. Last thing Ricky told me. I said, I want to go to state. And I said, me too. So now, we right now, we're running reason. We all going to state. Let them know they're coming, y'all. As the sun set balloons all red, Ricky's favorite color were released. Candles lit in his honor. I don't know where to go. I don't know how to handle this. I don't know what steps to take next. But I do know that I have to continue. And I'm not giving up. And Ricky's funeral is scheduled for Saturday. He will be buried in a Seattle Seahawks coffin. His family says that is his favorite football team. Live in DeSoto, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.